Hey everybody, this is Fornax, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to configure Hammer in order to map for Zombie Panic Source. Um, I'm following a tutorial I found on the zombiepanic.org forums. Um, it's a very useful article, I'll post a link to it in the description, as well as some other useful uh, tutorials there that'll get you started. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Alright, so open up your Steam. All right come to here, go to the top, see the tabs? Well, we're going to go over the Tools tab. You need to have the Source SDK and the Source SDK base, I think, installed. At least the Source SDK. Once you have that installed, just simply launch it, and you'll get this. You just might want to minimize this, because you'll need this again. Okay, and then we come to this. Alright, the port and bit right now is down at the bottom. Uh, the engine version needs to be the orange box, or it, it, it can be uh, Half-Life 2. Because um, Zombie Panic Source only needs Half-Life 2, so the orange box or uh, Half-Life 2 works here. Um, I'm going to be covering the orange box today, though. Alright, so once you have at least the orange box and whatever game down here, go up to the top and launch Hammer. wait for it to load up and once it's done simply go up to the corner hit tools and options and you'll get this box configure hammer okay so here first we're gonna start from top to bottom here we've got Half-Life 2 episode 2 we want zombie panic source so we click edit now it's not here so we have to add it click add and then type in zombie panic oops panic source click ok alright so it's there close now we're going to select it and oh gosh look at this it's all empty don't worry about it we're going to be filling it up so go back up to the top game data files uh, this is looking for the zombie panic fgd so go to your Steam ID, um, Steam ID uh, folder under the uh, Steam Apps folder in your Steam folder. <laughs> um, here I'll show you where it is real quick. All right, so we're in Program Files. Find your Steam folder right here, and it's going to be in our Steam Apps, and then your folder. Okay, and then go to Zombie Panic Source, ZPS, and there's the FGD. That's it. Alright, next. Uh, ignore these two. We're not really changing these. Um, these we're going to change. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm following another tutorial, so I'm not really sure why, but we are. So, this one is going to be physics, or prop physics. So, scroll down and find that. Got that. And this one is going to be funk detail. Okay, we got that. Leave these alone. Uh, leave this alone. This just deals with the detail of the lighting in your game. Um, you can change it, but I wouldn't suggest that it. it's good where it is. Okay, uh, cordon texture. We're going to change that. Click browse, and then in the filter here in the box, you get type no draw. Uh, spaces or not, it'll come up with the same thing. So we get this. It's the only thing that'll show up. Double click that, and we've got tools slash tools no draw. That's what you want. Alright, now it's game executable directory. It's looking for the Half Life 2 ex executable for Zombie Panic Source. So browse, and all you have to do for this is go and find your Steam folder. Go to your Steam ID folder under your Steam Apps folder, and then Literally, uh, for this one, you just have to click on Zombie Panic Source. Click OK. All right, we're done with that. Game directory. OK, this one's pretty much the same thing, just one more folder in. So go down, find Steam, Steam Apps, Zombie Panic Source, ZPS. That's it. OK, next. Hammer VMF. OK, this is where all your maps are. So again, <laughs> it's just one more folder in. 
program files, Steam, Steam apps, Steam ID folder, Zombie Panic source, ZPS, maps. That's it. Okay. Now we're almost, we're, we're only about halfway done. We're getting close though. All right. So we got this page done on this. Okay. Go back up to the top. See these tabs? We're going to go all the way to the last one and we're going to grab build programs. All right. So, well, configuration, we got to change that to zombie panic source. So change that. Okay. Now it needs the ga actual, actual game executable. So you got to browse for that real quick. It's nice because we're already in ZPS. Just back up once and you should be there. Okay. So it's just under zombie panic source and it's right there. All right. BSP executable. Uh, these next three are in an odd folder, but once you find it, they're all in the same folder. So it's pretty easy. So browse, back up, um, back up, go to source mods. No, I'm sorry. Go to under your steam ID folder, go to source SDK, uh, bin, orange box, bin, and then you're here. Okay. Well, this first one is BSP. So you, all you have to find is the VBSP file. That's it. Same thing for this one. It's already at the folder. So all we need is the VIS. So VVIS open. Okay. And the, now we need the VRAD. So just browse and there it is open. Okay. And this last option, uh, this is where the, or hammer will put your maps when you compile them. So your game can actually run them. So I suggest just putting it in, in, um, your maps folder for zombie panic source. Cause that's, you, you, you'll know they're there if you put them there, cause that's where all your other maps are. So, you know, okay. So, uh, steam ID folder, zombie panic source, ZPS maps. Okay. Okay. We're done. Hit apply or you can just click. Okay. Really? Cause you can get wait a sec and then you get this pop up, click. Okay. You're going to get the pop up again. Basically, it's telling you uh, you're going to need to restart the source SDK and then restart Hammer. So, okay, that's nice. Exit Hammer. See, look, if you go down here, it's not here. So, you got to close this. Back to your Steam. Launch the source SDK again. Launch it. Wait for it. Okay, once you get that, you should have the orange box and then zombie panic source should be one of your choices. Okay. And then just launch hammer. And that is the end of the tutorial. That's it. You're ready to start mapping. Um, as far as actually mapping, I'd suggest heading over to, uh, three clicks, Philip. Uh, he's got some good general mapping tutorials. Uh, like I said, I'll be posting some more links to zombie panic forums that'll help you get started. Um, good luck to you.